Hey everybody, this is Oxal Air, and I'm going to show you how to take Fallout 3 with you wherever you go so you can play it on the go. Once you install the game by uh, on, on Steam, you'll get your icon and once you double click it, you'll notice that it runs Steam, it will detect your hardware settings, you run play, and it just won't work, it won't do anything. So I'm going to show you what you need to do. Um, what you need to download is this called the Games for Windows Client. If you Google that, there's this big link called GFWL Microsoft Go. Just click that. It will download your exit file, install it, and this will only take a few seconds. So Fallout 3 needs games for Windows Live. You don't need to start it, you can just close it. Um, and the funny thing is, we're not done yet. So if you click it, you'll notice that you can run the game. Let me turn up the volume and show you where we get. So run play. The game will start, but you cannot actually start any real game. I've just switched it to Xbox 360 controls. So as you can see, the game starts. I'll continue from my last save game. But it will go back to Windows. Now, there's one thing you need to do. There's this specific DLL. It's called D3 D9 DLL. It's a direct X specific DLL and you need to copy that into your Fallout 3 directory so that means you go to your C drive uh, program files Steam Steam apps then into common and I think here we have Fallout 3. I've got the Game of the Year edition. Um, you just need to copy it there. There you go. Now, if you run it again, oh, you'll see that the game runs again. It will detect hardware to medium. We'll just leave it at that. That is fine. We'll start the game. And let's see if this works. And I've put the DLL, I put a link to the DLL in the in the description of this video, so you can just grab it from there. And now, when you continue a game or start a game, you'll notice that hey, here we are. So this is my last save game. I was at. Um, Vault 101, I just left, or I just went here. I've completed the main game and I was ready to begin one of the downloadable contents. So this is what happens when you leave Fallout, Vault 101. And this is really nice. I've actually completed this entire game Fallout 3 on the GPD Win. I've played it through holidays, um, train commutes, bus commutes and everything. And I really had a blast. So this is the closest thing to Fallout 3 on the Switch that you can ever imagine. And it works perfectly well on medium settings. Town called Springville with the rocket and everything. I'm going to show you just a little bit of how it plays, and that'll be the video.
as you can see or hopefully can see through this video it plays really smooth And if you want to take a peek at Megaton, I think we've got Megaton somewhere here. No, this is somewhere near the end. I can show you just a bit of that. Or near the end, I mean, this is at the start of the DLC. Oh man, where was I? Find the ruin of only paperwork. So yeah, that's what I was gonna do. And I needed, I needed a better suit because this was not a good place to be in. I'm getting plus one rats per second, and I mean this is why Fallout 3 is so much fun. There's this, this huge world that you can play. You can just grab it in and play it anywhere you go, and it just works. There's so many places you can go. Like I say, it's just install Games for Windows Live, get the DLL, um, and there you go. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, just uh, um, like it or leave a message. Thank you very much. Bye bye.